Hold on, one second, fellas. Let me give you. We're gonna try to give you a better view. Mhm. Mm Thanks. All right. Let's see. Oh, 062 saw blades. Changing out factory retainers and screens for beehives. The comp 787 16 retainers. Of course, some of them. You know what you're doing. This video is not for y'all, man. It's for people right here who are just trying to save that extra dollar. Not go to the machine shop. This is a little badass screen compressor. I rented it for $24.99 from O'Reilly's. I think I'm going to keep this little motherfucker. These little things right here on the inside, due to the fact that these 787s are they're not quite as wide as the factory ones. Uh, I got a factory ball. I don't know if you can see that, but they're just, just a, a smidgen smaller. So, I just grabbed some pliers, kind of crimped them together real good. So you got equal amount of distance on either side of the, the valve hole. Alright, put that up so I don't lose it. Button it down all the way, go down as far as you can on the spring. Give her a good squeeze. This is the simplest spring remover I've ever used, man. It's got a three-way keyhole on it, too. You need to put an impact on it with 9 16 or a 3 8 star ratchet through the top or a T-bar through the threads. Pretty smart. But, you just like to hold on down here while I crank on it. So it don't come out. Now I got to get it tight. Pop around a little bit. Give her a smack. Maybe some the clips. Okay. The magnet. Got it? Keep that. Get the other one out. Keep that. Back off of it. Now I back off of it. I hold it down here, or right here, and Press outwards, keep a good crimp on it. Mm -hmm. Come off of your factory screen. Come out, squeeze it, take a clamp. Bam, done, son. Put that here. All right. Now this one, I've already done the other set of heads. Completely. Take the valves completely out, clean them. Make sure everything inside of my uh, head was good. But what I'm going to do is just show y'all how to do this. I'm not going to bore y'all doing the rest of them, the other six. I'm just going to put this back in there for now. Okay. Slide it up over my saw horse so it don't fall out the bottom. Give me a beehive spring. LS6 blue spring. Put it on there. Grab a retainer. Cap her off. Same thing with your spring compressor. Just back off of it. Grab as much spring as you can. Squeeze it. Make sure you're centered up right here. I put my finger in between that to keep me centered. While I'm squeezing the thing so it'll bite the spring. Okay, ratchet that. Okay, ratchet. Alright, and that's where you want it. Hold it. Okay. Get out there. Your retainer clip. Clean real good. Of course, I'm going to go back and clean all these again. I'm just giving y'all a little idea how this is done. Rule number one, Pops told me never put your finger you wouldn't put your pecker. Okay? Now, depending on how much faith you got in this tool, it's going to depend whether you stick your finger in there or not to try to get this little clip in there. I've been doing it. Why? Don't know. If I were to do this right here and this motherfucker release, that spring come up, probably will smash 
the dog shit out of my finger. So, put the side in over here. Okay. Now, remind you, stay out of the way of the spring. Put this side in. I have to cinch down on it just a little more. So that clip off. Come on, baby. Out there, excuse me. Come on. Come on. Cocksucking midget. Alright, here we go. Come off of that bitch. Three, done. Six more to go.